Hello, friends. Welcome to the Lug Life Podcast. My name is Adam. My name is Sherry. Sherry Beth, what episode is this? 47. 47. And it is currently, as we're recording this, Mm -hmm. Friday night, less than a week before Thanksgiving. Yep. So we are entering into Thanksgiving week and we thought, you know what? Now is the appropriate time for this heated debate. (laughs) An intense conversation about what, Sherry? Thanksgiving sides. We are ranking (laughs) and telling you our thoughts on classic Thanksgiving side dishes. And I have to say from the beginning. And why you should never, never, never have. Okay, Sherry, stop, stop. (laughs) Don't, let's not piss people off from the beginning. (laughs) I want to say from the beginning, a thank you uh, to our friend Jordy, who actually threw this podcast topic out in an Instagram live. Yep. And I was like, oh my God, we're doing that. Absolutely, yes. Uh, and we had so much fun. We were talking about this earlier today mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm more excited to record this podcast than I probably should be for like <laughs> a side dish episode. Thing. Well, yes, we're excited to discuss this um, and let you all know the actual truth facts about these things giving sides, <laughs> but also I think it gets us in the spirit because they're all so yummy. I completely agree. Like we're so excited to actually eat them. Yes that um, talking about them is like the next best thing. Now, here's here's where we need to start because the first question might be, oh, great, but what Thanksgiving sides? So yeah. different families have different traditions. Mm-hmm. So some of you may hear this list and be like, oh, but you're missing Aunt Marge's jello mold <laughs> casserole. It's like, you know what? Are we missing it though? Aunt Marge will be fine. Right. Um, These so- are all kind of like the, just like the classic, um, I think between the two of us, we've had all of these at every Thanksgiving yeah. in our lives. And so, like, there's some things that's like, oh, we usually had something like this, or sometimes we have had this. But, like, I think these are the seven that are, like, every Thanksgiving. So, for us, these were these are the seven traditional. If we showed Thanksgiving and there was a turkey and these seven things on the table, yep. we would leave having felt like we had Thanksgiving. Yes. Right? Yes. Sherry Beth? Let's talk about what the seven are. Okay. Okay. This is in no particular order. Correct. Because we are actually going to rank them. We sure as heck ourselves, are. Ourselves uh, individually. But this is what we have on our list. Let's hear it. Stuffing slash dressing. Oh, we're going to talk about that. We will discuss. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> uh, green bean casserole. Mm-hmm. Cranberry sauce. Mm-hmm. Rolls. Yams or sweet potatoes. I yam what I yam. Sure. And corn. Okay. Now, let's... <laughs> I just picture us making so many people mad. You know what? Here's the thing, though. Okay, like I was joking about the truth facts, but like this is the truth according to us. This is our opinion. You can have your own opinions. If you want Aunt Marge's Jello mold, whatever, Salad. you can have that. Yep. And good on you. These are just, this is, this is our list. Yeah. Start your own podcast. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, start your own dumb podcast. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. I'm just, I get, I get aggressive <laughs> when it comes to food. You know that. I know. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about, Sherry, mm-hmm. is let's go through and talk about the different versions of these things we could have. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get into the first heated debate we have is, which is correct. So <laughs> stuffing slash dressing. Yeah. Some people... Do you know the difference? I know the difference. One of them goes in the turkey's butt. The other one goes around <laughs> goes around, goes around the turkey. No? Well, no. Well, no. Sort of. <laughs> it's all usually the same ingredients, but one goes inside the turkey, like, when it's cooking. Yeah. And one is just cooked in a pan Okay, so, so I'll be honest with you. There are some hills that we're going to talk about in this episode that yep. I am willing to die on. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm going to get aggressive. Oh, whoa. The dressing stuffing thing, I absolutely could not care less about. Don't care. They're both delicious. They're both delicious. And so the, usually, not always, but usually the one that's like the stuffing that's cooked inside the turkey is usually... Moister. M- moister. I hate that word. <laughs> I know you do. I was trying to think of a different a, word. No. Ah, there's, it's just, it's it a has juicy more stuffing. flavor. It has this. It's a, it's a juicy stuffing. <laughs> juicy, gross. Um, but it usually has a little more flavor. You know, it has like the drippings from the turkey um, as a co- as opposed to just kind of being cooked in a dry pan. But yep. um, I do like them both and I will eat them both. Here's what I want to say. And about. honestly, if they're both at the Thanksgiving meal, yep. I'm taking some of both. <laughs> so here's my thing with stuffing. 
I love stuffing. We're gonna. I'm gonna tell you a little bit later where it ranks for me. Mm-hmm. Um. I, but like, I don't. The only thing I don't want you to do is put too much weird stuff. To me, if yeah. you give me a box of stovetop. I'm a happy camper. Absolutely. But it does if, not need to be more complicated than that. But if you're just like, oh, this is like a very special, like free range and it has some figs that I picked and there's some like, there's some like heirloom apples. Stop. I'm out. No. It's going in the trash. Keep your fruit out of my stuffing. <laughs> like give me a box of stovetop. Give me something that tastes like bready and is loaded with carbs and wonderful stuffing seasoning and yeah. i'm happy yeah don't fancy up stuffing correct okay are we agreeing on that agreed yes god bless you Sherry. yep 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 okay so now the next thing we need to talk about go ahead potatoes potatoes okay <laughs> first of all you and i are both very pro potato in general yes however when it comes to thanksgiving we want our potatoes a specific way one way how do you want them mashed preach mashed 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 yes. now i don't care if they're mashed with chunks like if it's not completely smooth i don't care if they are garlic mashed or just plain mashed i don't like it, it doesn't matter but they have to be mashed they have to be mashed potatoes that i can cover in gravy yes i totally agree um and i'm with you on that like mm-hmm. i don't care if it's like red skinned potatoes some of them in there i don't care if it's like super creamy i don't care if like whatever it is every other day of the year i will take au gratin i will take whatever um on thanksgiving keep the cheesy potatoes at home just give me the mashed potatoes i would say that if there are cheesy potatoes that's great but there also needs to be the thing there has to be is mashed potatoes yes correct completely agree with you yes. so when we if talk your about... one potato option is like an au gratin or whatever nope so in this so far when we say stuffing you know what we mean mm-hmm. when we say potatoes we mean mashed we mean mashed. Let's talk green bean casserole, Sherry. Let's talk green bean casserole. For this, we're talking classic. Yep. Cream of mushroom soup. Yep. Topped with like the crunchy onion pieces. Yep. Green beans. Yep. Right? Like, and we're talking the classic one. Absolutely. All right. Cranberry sauce. Here we go. Let's make some people mad. If um, you <laughs> give me canned cranberry sauce, I am throwing the can at your throat. This is what this wow. is what's going to happen. Wow. It is disgusting. It is gelatinous. It is jiggly and okay, gross. First and of all, it does not belong okay. anywhere on the planet, but especially on the Thanksgiving plate. Okay, I want to say I also am jiggly and gelatinous. <laughs> so, for, so I'm a little <laughs> offended right now at this. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> so you I'm are insane, a but... you are a fresh cranberry girl. Fresh cranberry. And here's the thing. I grew up with the canned and I hated it. I never ever ate it because it was so gross. Like I've never ever liked it. This this is not something that's just like a new, I've never liked it. Okay. Um, it's always been gross. And when I moved up here, yep. I think it was the first time I had to have like the fresh because you made it. And I was yep. like, what? You can make cranberry sauce? I literally didn't even know that existed. Yeah. And since then... It's so okay. First of all, it's so easy. It's like three ingredients. It's so simple. And orange it's, juice, sugar. If you want to add a little bit of bourbon, like, yep. right? That is it. Um, and it's just it's so much better than the canned. It's so much better. Okay, so you feel very passionate about this. I do, and it is a hill I will die on. Okay, for me, <laughs> I I want to say I love both. Like a can of cranberry that's got those lines in it. It like comes out. Ugh. And here's the thing. That noise makes a. <laughs> it's so gross. It's so gross. Do I... not have. Like you have this beautiful spread. You spend 87 hours thawing and cooking this turkey. And you're going to just. <laughs> no. Just don't. It's gross. And it's lazy. And don't do it. I love how passionate you are with this. Because for me, I completely disagree. I Ideally, for me, I would have both a cranberry sauce. I'd have a canned version, um, and I'd have, like, the whole berry, the fresh one. But when we talk about cranberry sauce for this, because my favorite is the fresh cranberries. Orange juice, a little bit of, like, bourbon or, If you or had like to liquor, choose one. I'm choosing the fresh one that we make. the good one. Come okay. On, okay. The good one. So, <laughs> we say cranberries. That's what we mean. I know that some people feel very passionate about this, though. Very passionate. You know, and I... Ugh. I just can't. Wow. I just, I leave your can at home. I am determined Un- now. I am unable to can. I am I'm determined now <laughs> to like take a can of cranberry sauce and fancy it up. And you like, can't. Feed you it cannot you, and you'll be fancy like, oh, it up. Wonderful. No, it's, you can't do yeah, it. We'll see. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Challenge accepted leg. Uh, next thing on our list, rolls. Rolls. 
we're talking classic dinner rolls. Here's like, this the thing. Is like, I don't care if you if they're store bought or frozen and cooked or if they're handmade. I don't care. Wanna, rolls are rolls are rolls, wanna, and they're all delicious. I want a warm dinner roll, slathered in butter, yep. that I can like dip in my gravy. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. Uh, that I can like pile everything on and make a little samey. Sweet potatoes slash yams. When we talk about this, we are talking about the the sweet potatoes, the yams topped with like cinnamon, sugar, and marshmallows. What? Okay. Well, we're gonna talk about that <laughs> in a little bit. You're gonna give us your opinion on why you're wrong I about that sure. one. <laughs> And then the last thing on our list, corn. Corn. There are a million ways you could prepare corn. Yep. For you, tell me what your kind of Thanksgiving norm is. My preference? Preference. Just corn. Straight up corn. Corn with butter, and that is it. Wow, okay. Yep. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Of, like, I, I love corn on the cob, yes, but not do. at Thanksgiving. Okay. I want it just like off the cob. Yeah, I agree with that. With butter. Okay. Call it good. So that's what... That's how I prefer it. Mm-hmm. Now, if there is a creamed corn, I will also eat that. Okay. Um, which is interesting to me because, like, you are not normally a huge cream corn fan. Not usually. Um, but if it's made well and I don't I don't know. There, I feel like it belongs at Thanksgiving. It's not something that I'm like, you know what? In July, I really want cream corn. Nope. But with Thanksgiving? With Thanksgiving, sure. Okay. So for our ranking today, yeah. are we going straight whole kernel corn? Butter, salt, and pepper? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. Classic corn. Now, I do want to address a couple of things that some of you may be saying, because that's our whole list. You may be saying, oh, but what about the gravy? Yeah. Here's the thing. To me, the gravy is not a side dish. The gravy, as I described on Instagram, (laughs) is the hat that all other side dishes wear on top. Correct. (laughs) Right? Like, the gravy... This is understood. Like, if you are making a turkey, you are also making gravy. Gravy is the accessory. Like, that that goes with so many other things that are on... Right. That are on the plate. Yep. Um, Some other things... It's an understood that it's there. Absolutely. And if it's not, go home. Yeah, if it's not, like... (laughs) What are you doing with your life? You You are celebrating Thanksgiving incorrectly. You failed Thanksgiving. (laughs) The pilgrims did not sail across the Pacific Ocean (laughs) on the Titanic, Um, the Queen Mary, and the Disney Wonder to have Thanksgiving with no gravy, Sherry. Okay, there's a lot wrong with that statement. I don't see a single thing that's wrong with it. Um, So gravy, that's why we don't include it. It is the accessory. Right. It's um, understood that it's there. Now, we will have a little bonus discussion about the gravy. We sure at the will. End, but. And we disagree on this. Yep. So, <laughs> marriage on the rocks. Um, <laughs> the next thing is, yeah. what about things like deviled eggs? We did have this discussion. I think that's an appetizer more okay. than a side. side dish. Sure. I do still want deviled eggs at my Thanksgiving dinner, but okay. I, I think that they need to be set out to be snacking on snacking on snacking on before the meal when i if i arrive at your house because what you need before your thanksgiving meal is more food more food if you ever invite me to your house for thanksgiving (laughs) i'm not gonna be mad if you meet me at the door with a deviled egg correct if you're like oh welcome to my home here have a deviled egg i'm like yes i will thank you okay thank you you're what a wonderful host (laughs) uh sherry let's jump into our rankings okay Ladies first, because you're a lady. Oof. Oh, am I? Yep. So <clears throat> so tell us from, so here's how we kind of decided this. If you are walking up to a table full of Thanksgiving food, mm-hmm. what is the order that you are going to go to these things in as far as- To make sure they all fit on my plate. To make sure they all fit on your plate. Like, right. I want my number one thing to be this, and then my okay. last thing to be this. Okay. So Sherry, give it to us in order. <sighs> okay. Um, I am going for, oof, probably mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes as the number one the Thanksgiving first side. first thing, yep. Okay. And then the stuffing. Okay. Slash dressing. Yep. Then the green bean casserole. Okay. And then the corn. Wow. Cranberry sauce, rolls, and I will, um, grab the entire plate of the yams or sweet potatoes and throw them in the trash. Let's, okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> You, this is the one thing. So you like everything else on this list. Yep. You genuinely don't even like these. I won't even eat them. And here's the thing. I, I do love sweet potatoes. Um, I, in like fry form or even in like a baked potato form, if you are going to slather them in marshmallows and cinnamon, 
they belong in the trash. That's so crazy to They're, me. It's just disgusting. Like, I, I, and <laughs> I understand that I am offending a lot of people right now. I have yet to come across a single sweet potato slathered in all of that that's actually good. Well, there goes our brand deal with the Sweet Potato Growers of America Association. That's okay. No, I will eat them other ways. Just not in marshmallows and butter and cinnamon. You know what's crazy is that I would rather have them like that than any other one. <laughs> like, I like that so much more than I like sweet potato fries. Or so just, much more than nope, I like... Nope, nope, Okay, so there's there's your ranking. Yep. We are similar in some things. In fact, I, gosh, I'm wondering if we have any that are... Like, same place? In order. So, for me, no, I, number one, mm-hmm. stuffing. Mm-hmm. If I went back and forth in the stuffing in the, in the potatoes. If half of my plate was stuffing, <laughs> I'm not mad about this. <laughs> right. uh, stuffing for me, number two, mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Preferably a garlic mash. I love a garlic mash at I'm, Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm going to agree with you. Also, just the garlic all the time. Oh, sure. Uh, then number three for me is cranberry sauce. Okay. Number four, rolls. Number five is my green bean casserole. Mm. Number six is corn. Number seven is that sweet potato. Now, here's my thing. Number seven for me does not mean I don't like it. I would say that I would be intentional about making sure there is room on my plate for all of this stuff because I love it all. Mm -hmm. But in order of favorite, um, the sweet potato marshmallow thing would be last for me. Okay. Um, So that would be my ranking. Anything on my list that surprised you? No. No, that's kind of what you expected from me? I think so, yeah. Um, I think... Here's my thought with the rolls and why I put them at number six, Let's which is actually the end of my list. Um, I don't care if there's not space on the plate for that because it will sit on top of whatever is there. Oh. And so I'm not like making sure that I have space on my plate for it because I will always make space for a roll. Even if it's like a pocket. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. Even if I'm just like carrying it in the same <laughs> hand as like the silverware, like I'm taking a roll. Like, let's be real clear. All right. So. And we actually had a discussion. I was like, why are rolls even on here? Like, I feel like that's also just an understood. That's like mm-hmm. the gravy. But for me, I feel like my Thanksgiving plate is not complete without like a roll. Because like, I agree, but it's also like without the turkey and the gravy. Yeah, but gravy to me goes, ah, okay, I don't know. I could argue both ways on this. Because <laughs> gravy to me is gonna could go over stuffing, could go over potatoes, could go over the turkey. It's um, not going on like cranberry sauce. It's not going on cranberry sauce. But the rolls can be with I mean, all of that. Completely. Yeah. And so, I don't know. I just felt like, I felt like a roll was its own thing, whereas a gravy was the hat for all of it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so there we go. Now, let's talk gravy. Let's talk gravy. We differ on this. We differ on this. So, the two types of gravy primarily mm-hmm. at a Thanksgiving dinner would be... Like a turkey gravy. Which is like that lighter brown, water, tasteless junk. Oh, okay. Or there is like the dark brown, like brown gravy, like a beefy, salty... Okay, so you just said the key word here. What? Beefy. Okay. I don't want a beef, like beef broth-based gravy yeah over my turkey oh no i don't i wouldn't put it over my turkey you would put it over everything else and i so for me i put it over my potatoes on this list potatoes the, okay but if the turkey gravy is made well mm-hmm. it's delicious so maybe this is my thing and i maybe i here, i am willing to say maybe i just never in my entire life <laughs> have had a good turkey gravy but whenever i have turkey gravy i just feel like it's so bland like i feel like it doesn't bring then it doesn't it wasn't made right like it can be Man. made so that it has all of the same flavors basically as the stuffing it's just a gravy it doesn't have the bread and the veggies and like the, the chunks okay gosh but it can well... taste almost like the stuffing well i guess i need to have a good turkey gravy because to me turkey also doesn't have like a a hugely big flavor you know right. what i mean like turkey's also a kind of a subtle flavor and i've always felt like turkey gravy is subtle as well and i love a brown gravy over mashed potatoes i do too but it just when i when it comes to like my thanksgiving meal because i want the gravy over everything except the cranberry sauce um i want it to be all like the same flavors okay and so the turkey with the turkey stuffing with the turkey gravy. We can agree to disagree. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about a couple other things. Uh, salads. Mm. Oh, a nice green refreshing mm-hmm. salad. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. That's wonderful on any other day. <laughs> um, I'm so with you on this. And here's the thing. Like, we nobody is making a Thanksgiving meal, like, t- to be healthy. Um and and if you are you're doing it wrong just stop like 
it's just, I don't, nobody is wanting, like, the Thanksgiving meal that's healthy. I've never once. I don't want a salad. I've never once been like, oh, I'm so excited to get together with friends for Thanksgiving. I sure hope that Barb brings her cranberry feta walnut salad. Literally never. Never once. I'm like, how many rolls can Past I stuff future, in my happen. face? Correct. Yes. Right. How many rolls can I stuff in my face in the next six hours? Yes. How many naps can I take? Then wake up and eat even more stuffing. Yes. Like, that's my approach. Right. So, I don't... I, I mean, I understand that maybe there needs to be a salad on the table. Just, I don't think there does. Just don't be offended when I stay a mile away from <laughs> it. Like, I, like right. I, I have no desire to have a salad. Yeah. Nope. And here... Like, I love salads. And I sure. will have them any other day. I Absolutely. just don't... I just don't want it on Thanksgiving. Mm-mm. Do you want to have a little bonus um, conversation that we did not talk about? I... Well, I, I don't know. Because I'm not sure where this is going. Desserts. All right, let's do it. You want to? Let's discuss okay. Thanksgiving desserts. All right, let's do it. There's one answer to this. The only appropriate Thanksgiving dessert is pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Now, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. You and my mom are the same mm-hmm. when it comes to the eating the pumpkin pie. Yes, and, and, and this is one of our bonding points. Is that, should there be more whipped cream or pumpkin pie? Whipped cream. The pumpkin... <laughs> The pumpkin, okay, I want you to picture this. The pumpkin this. pie is the carrier for the whipped cream. Imagine there was a human standing in the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. That is the ratio. The human at the bottom of the Grand Canyon is the pumpkin pie. The Grand Canyon is the whipped cream. Yes, correct. That is the ratio. I'm not saying anything wrong with this. When you and my mom, <laughs> it's almost like one slice of pie, one can of whipped cream. <clears throat> Absolutely. That's how you guys eat it. Um, And I get it. Like, I, I totally get it. But yeah, I'm... I would say that on Thanksgiving, I'm fine if there's a whole table full of desserts. I love desserts. Oh, sure. And I will eat other things. But to me, the one dessert that I really, if I had to pick just one dessert to have, yeah, it's that. If I go to a Thanksgiving meal and there's not pumpkin pie, I will leave disappointed. And I don't care if everything <laughs> else that we just talked about is on our list and it's there and it's the best I've ever had in my life. If there's not pumpkin pie. We'll probably stop by the store and get a pumpkin yep, pie. On like I'm not done with Thanksgiving yet because... Yeah. I need, I need my pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is the period at the end of the Thanksgiving sentence. Yes. Correct? Yes. If there's no period, it's just like, well, that's unfinished. Just, right. You just left it hanging. You can't do that. I have one more hot button topic. Uh-oh. You ready? Uh-huh. So, some people do Thanksgiving different as far as, like, the main meat. I'm a believer that Thanksgiving is all about one thing. Some people do ham. Some mm-hmm. people do lasagna. Mm-hmm. Some people do other stuff. Mm-hmm. Some people do turkey. Where are you at? Turkey. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Like, it's hands down. And I'm, I again, I love ham. And I love... And if it's out on the table... Sure. sure. Well, maybe. But I, you know, at Thanksgiving meal, I want turkey. I agree. Mm-hmm. We're kind of traditionalists with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Thanksgiving is turkey. It's those classic sides. It's pumpkin pie. It's like a pocket full of rolls. Yeah. And I'm set. Yep. So friends, that is our episode. (laughs) That is it. Yes. Um, What we want you to do is actually head over to Leg Life Podcast on YouTube. Yes. And leave your thinks below in the comments. We want to know your rankings. Did we miss something that is an absolute must? Are you mad at us about something? we? Did we insult you in any way? It's okay. It's okay if we did. Yeah. Because, again, this is our opinion. I don't want those sweet potatoes or yams on my table. But I do. Put them on the table and I'll eat Sherry's helping. (laughs) I'll eat Sherry's helping. So, friends, um, there you go. That is our Thanksgiving episode. We hope you, if you're listening to this before Thanksgiving, we hope you do have an absolutely amazing, amazing Thanksgiving. If you're listening to it after Thanksgiving, you know what? Buy yourself a box of stovetop stuffing. Don't buy yourself a can of cranberry sauce. No. Nope. Buy some turkey from the store. Make yourself a little sandwich. Yeah, do A little it. post-Thanksgiving sandwich. Make your own cranberry sauce cause, because it's really easy and it's really yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Just that can coming out it's of It's so gross. <laughs> but, okay, is it, a, is it a little bit satisfying when it comes out perfect and, like, it doesn't break no, at all? No, because you know what that means? <laughs> what? Is that there's nothing real in that. Oh. Like, it's just... Ugh. There's something real. No. <laughs> It's, oh, it's worse than like a jello mold. No, it is not. It's the same as. Oh my gosh. It's molded itself to the can. You know what? And jello molds are delicious. 
Heart friends, we love you guys so much. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Just like Sherry said, remember, head over to Lug Life Podcast on YouTube. Let us know all of your thoughts. Let us know your Thanksgiving rankings. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? And uh, we will see you guys next week on our last Lug Life Podcast yes. of the year. Which we realize is going to be number 48, and we are too shy of 50. But we're oh, going to be okay with that. We're going to be okay. We're not going to let our, <laughs> the OCD to get to us on that. We're not. It's going to be fine. So next week's going to be the last one. We're going to be reflecting on a year of podcasts. We've never done this before. Nope. And so this is going to be kind of our our one year of podcast thoughts, what we learned from it, what we loved, what we maybe didn't love. So join us next week before we take the month of December off Mm -hmm. from the Lug Life podcast coming back fresh in January. Yep. All right, friends. Love you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.